Good afternoon. Here is another video of the Xtool D7 Smart Diagnosis Tablet uh, with the wired connection. Uh, we are connected to a 2004 uh, USA North American model Ford F550 Super Duty with the 6.0 liter turbo diesel power stroke engine. Very popular engine here in North America. So you have to be able to diagnose these quickly. Um, one of the functions here on these older Fords is uh, the special functions that they use on the Ford software. The USA Ford software version has a special uh, menu on the side outside of the normal diagnostics. So you do have your normal Ford USA diagnostics, but and you'll have your live data and read codes and a lot of parameters and actuation test. But the special functions are out here in the special function menu. And you can see there's a bunch of different special functions, which are basically, you know, uh, like a shortcut that goes through the main diagnostics. But they made it a little bit user friendly here. Uh, so I apologize about the glare. I hope you can see. We're going to select uh, from the special function menu power balance. And there's only the power balance is only supported by a few major of the American vehicle manufacturers. So uh, for Ford, we're going to select Ford USA. And um, this latest update so far is version V1320. Now from this menu, um, since we're already in the Ford, it should automatically detect it. Now, sometimes you may have to manually input the VIN number, but that's okay because for the engine, it, all we need to detect is the engine. So we don't have to detect the VIN um, automatically from this point on. So uh, let's see, uh, from this menu, it's a little bit of a condensed menu that you would normally find as compared to the main diagnosis um, menu. So uh, under this menu, there's vehicle info and then system application, and we're only gonna see powertrain control because obviously that's the special function that we selected. So we're gonna open up the PCM powertrain control module for the 6.0 uh, power stroke turbo diesel um obviously it's an eight cylinder so when you do a cylinder power balance test you normally have to have the parking brake on for safety and um, the ac will be turned off momentarily and then you will be asked to start the engine we're going to select special functions here and now there's only an option for power balance now here's your prerequisites and your conditions Obviously, uh, check your surroundings, block the wheels if we have to, or put the vehicle in park stationary position and the AC air conditioning will be turned off. And then we're gonna start the engine. Okay, let's start it. And we're going to select, okay. And now what we're gonna see is all of your cylinders one through eight. Look, I can scroll up one through eight with an RPM value. I don't know if you could focus in there. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Uh, cylinders eight through one. And there's your value at idle. We're at idle at about uh, eight or 900 RPM, six, uh, 650, 639. So I'm going to put a load on it. Sorry about the glare. Let me see if you can get it. So this is a cylinder contribution test under load. We're about 2,500 RPMs. And you can see it's a value that you can use for your diagnosis. Very important. Thank you for watching. Look out for the next video.